guys we have five phones here and they're all Google locked what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove Google FRP from all these devices using our online tool where you don't need to connect any USB cable only IMEI is required so let us go ahead and do that So as you can see, they're all Google locked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a simple reset on them. Once the device is reset, we're going to set it up and we're going to remove the Google locks from it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it via the USB reset command. It's going to connect the USB cable to them and then I'm going to go from there. The only reason I'm doing it with a cable is because manual reset will take a longer time with the three button combo going into the recovery. This one's done. All five of them have been resetted. Once they turn on, we're going to connect them with Wi Fi and then we're going to go ahead and remove the Google lock on them. So some of the phones have booted up. We're going to go ahead and start.
So you can see I just, I'm setting, they still have the Google log, but I'm setting them up and on the back end they're getting removed or the process has started. Let's put it that way and they're not removed yet. As you can see, all I'm doing is, doing is going through a setup process on these phones I'm using both hands because there are multiple devices. For the reason of the video, I'm trying to make this process as quick as possible. Uh, process to remove FRP does not take more than 10 minutes, the whole process from the start to the end. So all done remotely there's no wires involved I did use the USB cable just to send the reset command via USB that's just quicker Couple of restarts, uh, connecting them after uh, with Wi-Fi. Couple of restarts, and then eventually the phone will be free of any Google locks. Most of my phones are Canadian models, the W model. Some of them are from US.
We started all the phones pretty much at the same time, but depending on the device, some are slow, some are fast. So the progress is in front of you. This one being the slowest of them all. And I believe these two are up there in the race. As you can see, the skip is there, so we can skip the Google account. Now we can just go inside the phone. Now it should be free of any locks. There you go. Phone has no locks anymore. Nothing there. If you want, we're gonna, we can test it by doing a reset again. To reset on this one just to confirm that everything is good. Skip.
do a reset on this one as well. Just to confirm all is well after that. So this phone has been reset it. Uh, after the Google lock was removed, we did another reset, and now you can see there is no lock. You don't need to connect it to the internet anymore. I'm resetting this one just in case. said this one as well. Skip. So as you can see, uh, we connected, we saw that was locked with Google, then we removed the Google lock, then we got inside the phone, then after doing a reset, there was no Google lock. We skipped through the credentials and we're inside the phone. And the Google lock is removed. I believe the process is less than 10, 10 minutes, max 15 minutes, depending on the phone speed. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.